If you've used computers for very long, and surely at some point in your time, you've had to uninstall programs. Just something you stopped using, something that was installed when you bought the computer that you just didn't like, or something that came with Windows that you just couldn't seem to get rid of. And using the uninstall or change program section under the control panel of Windows usually does a pretty decent job. But there are those times when things get installed that don't show up in here, like things from the Windows Store, starting with Windows 8 and Windows 10. Or there's times when the uninstaller wasn't designed right by the application creator, and it just won't uninstall at all. So today, I'm going to show you a better way to do it. Hello everyone, my name is Andy and welcome back to CapTech. Today I'm going to show you guys how to use the Geek Uninstaller. This is something I've used in the past several times before and it's incredibly easy to use and it's completely free. Now for starters, you don't even have to install anything to use this. You can download it as just a zip file, as you can see on the desktop here. When you open it up, you'll see that the only thing in there is just the executable itself. So you just extract it to the desktop or wherever you want to use it. And then when you run it, it just pops up like this. There's no installation required. So you could throw this on a thumb drive and use it as is. Now this will go through and give you a really good detailed list of all the programs installed by Windows. But one of the nicest things about this is you go into the view menu at the top, you can choose Windows Store apps for Windows 8 and Windows 10. And this will show you all the stuff from the Windows Store that's bundled to your computer by default. Things you may not ever even know that was on there, things you may not ever even want to use. And so this will allow you an easy way to get rid of it. Like I'm not going to use the built-in Facebook app. So you can either click it to highlight it and go under Actions, or you can right-click it and choose Uninstall. And it'll go through and very quickly give you every single thing that it's going to remove, all the registry settings, all the file settings. You click on Finish, it goes through Remove All the Traces, you click Close, and now it's gone. And it's that simple. And of course, if you ever end up with something that you're trying to uninstall that's just being really difficult to work with for some reason, you can always go under Action and do a force removal. And this will go through and look for all the supporting files that it has in its database for this particular program that you may have chosen, and we'll search them out and remove them. And also, this gives you a good idea of what's installed on your computer to get some more information. You can right-click it and choose Registry Entry if you want to see where it's at in the registry, which, unless you know what you're doing, don't go in here and start messing around. You can cause some problems. Or you can go under the Installation folder, and it'll show you where on your computer this is even installed in case it's something you didn't put there. Or lastly, you can right-click and choose Go Under the Program Website if it actually has it listed and it'll go to it, or you can Google for that specific program and it'll pull up information about it. So if you're trying to figure out, what is this? I don't remember it installing this. I have no idea what it is. You can Google it safely and it'll launch your default browser and pull up information about what this program actually is. So again, uh, this is completely free. Now there is a paid version if you want to get the Uninstaller Pro that I'm showing here now. It's a $25 license, one time you get it for life. You don't have to try and renew it every year. Um, it gives you real-time installation, choose startup programs better. You can do more than one program at a time. So you can do a batch removal, um, a better thorough and completion removal of the really difficult ones. And you have support options available too so that you're you can get some help should you ever need it versus the free one personal use only they don't want you using on a business or anything and there's no support at all this is updated on a pretty regular basis you can see it's updated probably a dozen times so far this year with any bugs or any new uh, software that they happen to be working with so i will put a link to this in video description down below this is not a paid advertisement this is just software that i do recommend if you have any questions or comments about this do drop it in the comment section down below and i'll see if i can help you out and if you found the video useful do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button down below the video and be sure to subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss out on the future videos. Thank you guys for your time. Have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you later.